What's going on guys? Hybrid Hero here with another Fact Friday. This time we have the third video of the second generation of starters. 10 facts you didn't know about the Totodial family. My personal favorite pick of the Johto starters. But before we get started with this video, be sure to check out last week's video on the 10 facts you didn't know about the Syndical family. But if you're already caught up with the series, then let's go ahead and get started with the 10 facts you didn't know about the Totodial family. Number 10. Starting off the list with a very basic fact, for Alligator is the earliest fully evolved starter Pokemon you can get at level 30. No other starter Pokemon evolves this early, with the earliest others being a few at level 32. However, the trade-off for this is that Totodile evolves into Croconaw at level 18, the longest it takes for any starter to evolve. A tie with Turtwig and Grottle in this case. Number 9. In the 5th generation of the Pokemon games, Game Freak decided to ban Pokemon with defensive nicknames from being traded on the GTS. However, this change made it so that Pokemon with defensive names within their original names couldn't be traded either, like Kafagrigus. And surprisingly enough, an English Croconna is also one of these Pokemon that cannot be traded without a nickname. Now, I know many of you may be wondering, what's wrong with Croconaw's English name? There's nothing offensive about it. Well, the GTS just doesn't take offensive English words into account, but all the offensive words from the main playable languages. And among the languages, Khan seems to be French for the word idiot, which seems to be the reason why it's banned. Yep, I'm not joking. It took me a little while to figure this out, but this seems to be the one. Khan also seems to be the prefix and suffix to many more offensive words that I can't mention in this video, but I don't think it's banned for that as it would only be banned if the full word was in its name. So being the caveman that it is, it was behind on the times, and the only way to have been able to trade a croconaut then was to nickname it itself. Thankfully however, the GTS name system changed, and after Gen 5, it was once again possible to trade croconaut on the GTS without any issues. Number 8. In the spin-off title Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure, many starter Pokemon appeared. However, Feraligatr was the only fully evolved Johto starter to appear in the adventure. I personally love the game by the way. <sighs> what a fun time. Number 7. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, Protagonist Silver had stolen a Totodile from Professor Elm's lab some protagonist, eh? And Totodile actually decided to willingly stay with Silver. And though Silver had raised it to fully evolve into a Feraligatr that's at level 83, it's actually his second strongest Pokemon, with his Weavile being the strongest at level 48. But don't worry, cause though it may not be the strongest Pokemon on his team, Silver and Feraligatr still share a very strong bond with one another. Number 6. Since their debut in the Neo Genesis TCG set, Totodile has been featured on 17 different cards, Croconaw on 13, and Feraligatr on 14. Number 5. In the Pokemon special The Legend of Thunder, Marina's Croconaw Waniwani is the only one of the three Johto starters that isn't in its final form, as Jimmy and Vincent use Typhlosion and Meganium respectively. I'd make a Frieza meme about Waniwani, but it seems it did reach its final form somewhere in the Diamond and Pearl series, as Marina uses a Feraligatr then. Number 4. The nickname Waniwani either comes from Totodile's Japanese name, Waninoko, or simply just Wani, the Japanese word for crocodile. Number 3. Despite what you may think about Ash's Totodile being a male, its gender is actually officially unconfirmed. Though in the English dub, it was once referred to as a male. Yeah, based off its voice and behavior, my headcanon is that it's a male, but who knows? I could be wrong. Number 2. Among Ash's Johto Pokemon, Ash's Totodel is the only one that can evolve that hasn't evolved at least once. It's weird because most of Ash's Johto Pokemon actually evolved after the series had ended. But hey, I'm quite glad that Totodile is still his adorable little self. Number 1 And finally, 
Totodile was Ash's first Pokemon to be kept in a Pokeball that wasn't an actual Pokeball, but a Pokeball variant. In this case, a Lure Ball. His 30 Tauros were actually his first Pokemon caught in different Pokeballs. In their case, Safari Balls. But they're all kept in regular Pokeballs, whereas Totodile was caught in a Lure Ball and made a home in that Lure Ball. There we have it guys, those are the 10 facts that you didn't know about the Totodile family. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know which facts you knew and which ones you didn't know as well. Next week, we'll be taking a look at the Johto starters as a whole, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video, alright? Later. Thank you.